happy Friday, dear colleagues. And now we've reached session number three here at the 12 International Conference for Teachers of English, UPN FM 2021. Now I'm delighted to present Dr. Rommel M. A. Saron. Dr. Rommel holds a Doctor of Philosophy in English Language Studies. He serves as the research coordinator of the College of Industrial Technology, Batanga State University, JPLPC, Malvar, Philippines. He has been teaching English language and literature courses in more than a decade. He's also a member and reviewer of various international research journals, editor-in-chief of the Journal for Industrial Technology, Education and Management, curriculum planner and designer, book author, editor, and a resource speaker. And today, Dr. Rommel is going to be talking about his research, online learning in the university, students encounter challenges, and their well-being in pandemic crisis. Dr. Rommel, welcome to this conference. The cyber floor is yours. The world. Have a great day, everyone. And this is Dr. Rommel Azaran, here to present to you the topic on learning in the university. Students encounter challenges in their well-being in this pandemic crisis. Education comes from the Latin term educare, which means bringing up. It is linked to educare, which means bring out, meaning bring forth what is within and bring out potential and educare to guide. Education is the key to success. It provides us with more opportunities in life. It is not all about getting grades or high grades, but it is a long process that will help individuals to grow and to become the best version of them. Honestly, it has a large contribution in producing productive individuals and an effective leaders for a community. It will help the students to show their skills and improve their knowledge in a very aspect of life. And now that the world is strapped by the COVID-19 pandemic, it seems that the people suddenly stopped and eventually are advised to stay home with a hope that there would be an antidote or a vaccine for this virus. This pandemic brought phenomenal changes and how people are affected by different sectors especially the sector of education, causing it to the permanently or temporarily closing the educational institution and to implement the online learning that changed the life of every student. In the case of Batanga State University, a flexible online learning has been implemented from the start of COVID-19 pandemic to support all the students with a goal of injury that no student falls behind. Given that a dynamic teaching and learning strategy viewpoint is deeply anchored in student requirements, the primary goal should be to provide learners with the greatest flexibility in terms of learning materials, modules, access, innovative assessment using both digital and non-digital technologies. Flexible online learning should supplement an outcomes-based education approach by allowing the university to use diverse modes of delivery and evaluation as they tend to demonstrate achievements of the program established learning outcomes for each course or subject that state your memorandum order number 359-2020. However, learning has not stopped, but the new classroom setup was a big challenge for the students because they face another adjustment due to the pandemic. As they said that online education is not as effective as the traditional methods of teaching in many parts of the country but ever since the advent of COVID-19, things have changed. The virus has spread quickly worldwide 
it has clearly brought fear to people's health. No one can never be prepared in these trying times. But it is a matter of plan, action, and implementation. According to the data from the United Nations, Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, as of May 3, 2020, nearly 1.2 billion pupils in youth worldwide were affected owing to the outbreak of COVID-19. The bad news came in March 2020 when the government was threatened by the pandemic which made a suspension from primary through tertiary schooling. As a result, students struggle in a variety of ways with adaptations in online learning. Education is considered as one of the most important things in today's generation. It is the most potent weapon we have at our disposal to influence the world. Evidently, it has a lot of benefits not just for the students, but for society. People know that its main aim is to empower all students through giving knowledge. It helps in forming and developing one's point of view. Aside from that, it can build character and help a nation progress. Education is not just for that academic improvement, it is also a way to teach right behavior and good manners that will produce a quality person. A well-educated person will absolutely get lots of opportunities and a higher chance to improve the community they belong. This statement will support one of the sayings of Dr. Jose Rizal that the youngers are the hope of the nation. Online learning is challenging as the students really need to be ready, particularly on their well-being and awareness on the situation to easily adapt to the new norm or set up learning. Physical health can be affected by just sitting and attending the classes every day. This kind of repetitive action can lead to a bad posture of the students. Gaining weight can also be part of these physical health issues in online learning since the students do not have free time to exercise and to have physical activity as they have a full schedule in their classes. Staring for a long time on a computer, laptop, and cell phone are unavoidable since it is a requirement to attend the class. Staring on the gadgets can affect their eye vision because this is really a problem among the students based on the preliminary investigation of the study. For the students, one of the most significant challenges in online learning is a lack of sleep. They need to complete their activities and projects at a specific time. So for them to finish those activities, they need to stay awake all night. The mental health problem in online learning is common for those students who are really not mentally prepared to have these challenges that lead to their mental breakdown. Students may have concern about keeping up with their academics and have difficulty concentrating at home. Students' lack of social engagement may enhance their emotions of social anxiety and pressure. This setup of online learning can influence students' self-esteem and personal perseverance or values and it cause too much time or stress. In addition, depression will always be part of mental health issues. Doing all of these things or activities alone is not easy. The students do not have the courage to always ask questions of their, from their teachers. Students are accustomed to having a companion in everything they do. So many of them suffer anxiety, stress, and depression because they don't have someone who can help them exact for themselves. Online learning has become the face-to-face -face method technique to the teaching and learning processes. It somehow brings complexion to the learning of the students. Being able to adapt to this online method 
can lead for a comfortable state and will be able to be in touch with the current social state of the students. However, failure to comply can lead to anxiety and disappointment as well as their frustration that may cause the disruption to students' social circle. Connectivity issues will cause a disruption in communication that will limit the students to socialize among each other in the class, even during their class activities. And somehow, with its usage of time management, students will find themselves at ease, which can result a comfortable feeling with within the students or among the students in class and they have the time to socialize with each other otherwise it can be procrastination and a discomfort of being unable to finish the task in a timely manner lacking knowledge on how to properly use the device such as computer and its programs may cause a hard time for the students to deal with its requirements. It may lead into unwanted tense and discomfort, as well as the limit in socialization with each other. Self-motivation is an important factor during their learning. It will boost the morale of the students to work harder and to comprehend with the requirements making them optimist and industrious. Students will be able to adjust to the course of the study linked with effective communication with other students. When it comes to social health, being able to overcome the adaptation struggle may cause a comfort feeling for the students as they are being used to daily procedures. This will also bring a positive outcome when it comes to social health as the case it brings for the students will also be able to bring to its social circle. Research questions. This research aims to answer the following. First, how may this online learning in the university be described? Second, what students encounter challenges in their well-being in terms of physical, mental, social, and emotional health can be determined in this pandemic crisis? And last, what action plan can be proposed to monitor the health conditions and well-being of the students in online learning in the university? Materials and method of study First, the research design This study is a descriptive quantitative research which focuses on the encountered challenges of the students in online learning in the university. It also focused on the well-being of the students in terms of physical, mental, social, and emotional health. And the last focus of this study is about the action plan that would monitor the health conditions and well-being of the students during the online learning in the university. Respondents of the study The proposed and convenient sampling method has 135 first or industrial technology students where this department or college has nine field of specializations. Each section or field of specialization participated by 15 students with a total sample of 135 students. Data gathering instrument. This study used a self-made questionnaire which consists of two parts. First part, considers or deals with okay, the online learning in the university. Second is the encountered challenges and well-being of the students during their 
online learning. Procedure of the study. This study undertaken various steps in order to investigate the objectives of the study. General and specific objectives of the study have been set for clarity and directions. In the procedure, it consists of uh, construction of the questionnaire, followed by the validation of this instrument with the distribution of the questionnaire among the respondents, as well as the retrieval of the questionnaire via Google Form. So right after the retrieval of the information or data via Google Form, so the data were then solid and analyzed. Data analysis of the study. This study used simple descriptive research method, namely frequency and percentage, ranking, mean, Likert scale, mean ranges, and the verbal interpretation known as description. These are very important in analyzing the data retrieved and solid in the investigation. Let's proceed now to the results and discussion of the study. This part presents and discusses the gathered data from the first year college students. The topics are presented and uh, interpreted in topical form. Flexible online learning in the university. Batangas State University envisions to be the premier national university that may develop leaders in the global knowledge economy. Based on the first research question, the study reviewed and analyzed the 2020 Implementing Rules and Regulations or IRR of the BAT statute as general guidelines on flexible learning to describe its coverage and characteristics. The IRR of the university generally aims to prescribe the necessary rules and regulations for the standardization and proper implementation of the flexible learning general guidelines. The underlying principles of flexible learning are described as follow. First, in teaching, providing learners with utmost flexibility on the learning content, schedules, access, and innovations assessment, and in making use of digital and non-digital tools. Second, exercising judgment, academic freedom in the development or deployment of available flexible learning and other alternative modes of delivery in a reasonable manner. Is the third, the most valuable form of flexible learning and teaching is that based on its capability, existing condition, national government agency guidelines, and local government unit advisories. Fourth, is that flexible learning should complement outcomes-based education approach to allow flexibility for the university to employ various means of delivery and assessment as long as they can show the achievement of the set of learning outcomes for each course subject for the program. Followed by, in terms of learning content, the university shall review all curricular offerings and make the necessary adjustments or modifications in the course content requirements. Determine alternative options in the design, delivery, pedagogy, and uh, assessment mechanism that can be delivered to the students through various modalities. Then, on the management of learners, the university shall provide mechanism to inform and orient learners on the learning system to be implemented, which may be in form of uh, course packages for students that are accessible through offline and online modes. Course packages may include course syllabi, study guides, learning activities, available repository of learning resources, schedule of lessons, consultations, assessments, monitoring of student engagement, 
schedule and mechanism of submission of requirements, grading system, feedback portals, student support, and system, etc. to assist students in managing their study time and maximizing their learning. Then we have the university should disseminate information on systems and procedures for the transition to flexible learning to all students, officials, teaching and non-teaching staff, which may be in the form of a policy document such as guidebook, manual, briefer, etc. or may be incorporated in the institution's student handbook. We also have establishing partnerships with relevant agencies and organizations to strengthen and or complement existing resources, infrastructure, or connectivity to ensure non-disruptive learning of the students. That is level of technology, multimedia, or learning resource center, electronic library, or open educational resources, learning management system, either proprietary or non-proprietary, okay? Implementing or exploring grants or and support, capacity building programs for administrators, faculty and staff on the transitioning to flexible learning. Training and webinars shall be conducted through the Center for Transformative Learning. And of course, we have ensuring that the health and safety protocols are maintained at all times, adhering with the protocols and legal procedures, ethical standards, and Privacy Act protection law. To amplify the things mentioned above, the following terms have been clearly defined and described for clarity and understanding. First is online learning. Online learning refers to connectivity and full use of technology, particularly the internet. Second, flexible learning is a broader term that focuses on the design and delivery of programs, courses, and learning interventions that address students' unique needs in terms of pace, place, process, and products of learning. It does not necessarily require connectivity. Synchronous learning is the kind of learning that happens in real time. This means that instructor and students interact in a specific virtual place through a specific online medium at a specific time and methods. Methods of synchronous online learning include video conferencing, teleconferencing, live chatting, and live streaming lectures. Asynchronous learning refers to the learning that happens on student schedule as approved and certified by the college or department. While the instructor provides materials for reading, lectures for viewing, assignments for completion or completing, and exams for evaluation. Students have the ability to access and satisfy these requirements within a flexible time frame. Methods of asynchronous online learning include self-guided lesson, modules, streaming video content, virtual libraries posted lecture, notes and exchange across discussion, boards, or social media platforms. Laboratory classes are used by any instructor who wishes to create an environment where students are physically engaged with concepts in the field through active experimentations or 
exploration. Many learning objectives can be taught through laboratory classes. Capstone design projects are multifaceted assignment that serves as a culminating academic and intellectual experience for students, typically during their final year. It may be completed individually or as a part of a group depending on the course or the overall program design. Since teamwork is considered a critical skill to succeed in the professional world, most capstone design courses require students to accomplish a design project in a team setting. Another one is about the third ten. Third ten is a plagiarism prevention tool that compares submitted work of the students to websites, online journals, and other student papers in the Turnitin system. The software generates a report that highlights passages in the paper that match the online sources. It is an optional for it is optional for instructors to make Turnitin reports available to the students. However, it is important that the students understand how the reports work so that they can make sure that their sources are properly and correctly cited and take necessary action if needed to avoid unintentional or unintended plagiarism. Instructor or course instructor shall mean the faculty member handling the class regardless of academic rank unless or otherwise provided in this IRR. Encountered challenges in online learning. This part presents the encountered challenges in online learning in terms of students time management, adaptability struggle, and technical issues. Let us now start with the definition of time management. Time management is the capacity to manage time in an efficient manner that allows students to complete needed work on or before the deadlines. It is one of the most important aspects influencing students' success or failure in an online learning. So let us have the table of the result here. So table 1 presents the assessment of respondents in terms of time management. In here, the highest weighted or the highest weight or mean in the table it is the i attend my classes on time based on the schedule which gathered 3.27 which is interpreted as agree so meaning to say the students have understood their schedule in class and they attend or attended in their class schedule which gained the highest mean and that is 3.27 and from that statement they agreed that they really attended or they have that knowledge in attending classes which gained the highest mean in the statement as to adaptability struggle so the main or composite mean as the general score of the investigation and this criteria. Among 135 students, they believe that they could be able to have their ability and their high level of adaptability in this 
changing time and this have their ability to handle lots of their new things in this learning education. Moreover, Lin Wu 2020 believed that adaptability is the ability to be creative and flexible in the face of new situations. Aside from time management, it is also regarded as one of the most important abilities that an individual must possess in order to teach or to reach success more easily and quickly. People will respond or become more relevant as they grow more adaptive because they cannot accept changes as easily as they can. The more adaptive they are and the more productive they will be. Students can deal with strain and stress that online learning might bring by developing these skills. As Bates and Kazone 2007 investigated, online learning has made it easier for instructors and students by giving assembly tools. The efficiency of online learning at the university was determined by the teachers, tactics, and the students' performance. Online learning can be as effective as face-to-face -face learning if teachers and students work together to help each other, even if the learning environment in today's situation has been extremely different from the norm. Both should do their best okay, to improve in a variety of ways. A person with a high level of adaptability can learn new techniques to deal with changes effectively and successfully. New learning in education seems stressful and difficult for the students. But if they have those kinds of skills like adaptability skill, adaptability management, time management, they can reduce stress and uh, can be able to work efficiently. So these are the things we have to remember in time management in relation to adaptability struggle. Table 3 presents the assessment of respondents in terms of their technical issues. So here in the table, we also have another five statements that talk about the technical issues. So the statements are in the positive statements. So the highest mean is the statement I can easily address some basic issues in Google Meet like audio, camera, problems on my own. So the students believe that they have shared their problems encountered immediately to their teachers and professors with a mean of 3.04. It means that students can manage the basic problems they encountered during technology or using technology for online learning. According to Fulton 2001, he revealed that students online must be taught on how to use the technology connected with online learning. Online learning in general has something to do with the technology. Online learning will be impossible without it. Therefore, 
due to the breakout of COVID-19, learning technology is unnecessary. To substantiate this assertion, te technical issues have long posed hurdles to the use of technology for learning. Indeed, it is critical to minimize difficulties as much as possible from the start of the learning process. This can be accomplished in a variety of ways, including providing overviews of the tools used for the course and or hands-on workshop with the technology that will be used in the online learning experiences. As mentioned by Hill 2002, it is critical to assist learners in understanding that issues will that occurred and most often at the most inconvenient time. Problems will arise at any time and on any day. Being prepared at all times will make dealing at any time with the challenges that would be simpler and it will help develop the strength not just as a student but as an individual in the society. The second highest mean is the statement I do have enough gadgets to use for online learning which has a mean of 2.99. They agreed and believed that having the potential to keep up with the new challenges of education, their adequacy of their gadgets used in online learning have certainly helped them not to be left behind in the class and even in their classroom participations and activities by the support and help of their valued teachers and professors. One of the lowest rank or statement in the given five statements is I have a stable internet connection for online learning which they which obtained a 2.85. This means that students have enough knowledge and have just started to prepare materials and resources. It is because of the earliest orientation and briefing by the university and the professors as reflected in the institutional policy about the online, flexible online learning adopted by the Batang State University. And the group of students, and even from the higher level down to the lowest level, they have easily adapted and they have easily adjusted with it. From the problems they encountered, like technical issues, the faculty member, teachers have easily accessed and gathered and collected information among those students who encountered problems about technical issues. Technical issues, on the other hand, may be encountered in some circumstances while using technology. Being knowledgeable in using gadgets may handle the basic issues that everyone have had encountered. During online learning, through the gathered data, so the technical issues 
have been stated that the students are not encountering greater issues, slider only. So as to the basis of this data, lesser issue have been found in this study. In terms of technology or technical issues like internet, gadgets, and some other cases. So having stable connections, enough gadgets and knowledge on applications for online learning, the students may achieve high grades, focus on studies, and participate well in class discussion. And it makes it easier to browse internet without interruption. They pass activities and attend on time in their online learning. From gadgets used in online class, only a small percentage of first-year college students is, are wearing glasses with anti-radiation and they avoid eye contact or strain from radiations on different gadgets they use. According to IXEA and Wang 2011, the quality of online classes and the level of students' computer skills can influence their attitudes. Online class brings a different impact to their academic life as it focuses more on digital and technological ways. One problem that students might get from it is eye strain due to the thorough exposure to screens and having this would probably lead to an attitude breakdown. It is because of being conscious of oneself, having eye strain and overthinking the possible outcomes it might do to health. However, the study shows that it is a matter of action and implementation. The online class has become more favorable to the students because they can attend class wherever they are and if they have an internet connection and they can also eat whenever they want. As stated by Borkstorp and Low 2007, e-learning can empower students at higher educational level. Due to the sudden outbreak of the virus COVID-19, online learning was implemented. Some of the students and parents did not agree to this new learning system without knowing that it has a lot of benefits. Online learning seems stressful, but it may help students to pursue their goals and because they are confident enough, so they are able to believe that they are still responsible when it comes to securing and taking care of their mental health. Because of their participation and openness when they communicate with their professors, teachers, so they are still guided and their mental have been conditioned. And they are also advised to have take a rest and they have their time to, to pause and uh, relax because of too much pressure due to different activities provided by different professors. With this case, so they believe that rest and tuning into or unwinding or taking rest have been an effective way to make their mental health. Table 5 presents the assessment of respondents in terms of mental health. So it consists of five statements in positive form. So the highest in rank or rated by the respondents 
is the statement I am able to participate in online discussion and recitations because I am confident to handle the pressure in online learning which obtained a mean of 3.27 however the lowest is the statement my stress reduced due to exercise before online learning so with a mean of 2.97 so that stress had been reduced due to exercise before online learning become the lowest among the statements with a mean of 2.97 but the overall mean or composite mean is 3.13 which they believe that they have the positive results on their mental health as disclosed here by Suleiman 2014 excessive levels of stress might lead to an increase in an occurrence of errors and in a Appropriateness behavior when students are under academic pressure they are more prone to cheat this type of pressure can lead to bad behavior so because of their dread of failure and the pressure their parents have placed on them they are willing to cheat in order to achieve perfection as the emotional health is concerned with a person's emotions and feelings, emotions can have an important impact on the online learning experience of the students. Furthermore, emotion has significantly more dynamic role in learning than simply suppressing rational thought and reason. Understanding the nature of emotions in the learning process may aid in the learning process. A continuation of the program, you could also have another activity that would consider the social and emotional health of the students. So it's up to you whether you're going to have color conversation so that the students will be able to have a sharing and communication that they would share experiences at home or the challenges that they face wherein everyone could be able to give some tips or strategies in how to cope up with the different situations another one is emotion health of the students so you could have some sharing of a music or or you play a song that would inspire and would make everyone become so valuable and have the conditioning power when they hear the voice or the music even you could have one play or singing game or let's say for example such uh, a game that would talk about the experiences in at home or anything that would make someone laugh someone shout in the class online class so it's up to the situation of the classroom in online so somehow some cannot be able to join the online class because of limited connections but you could also apply some uh, preparation of modules or teaching materials that would suffice or supplement the needs of the students out of the connection or out of the internet so see you guys to the next presentation that i will be discussing the utilization of the module or the teaching material and this is actually the module for the students who are not able to join the online learning See you and thank you so much again for your watching and listening to this presentation.
God bless.